Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I just want to remind you to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys once again for your support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, I wanna come on here and talk about the whole offset, AKA off cheat situation. So if you guys don't know, I've been posting about Offset the last few days on Instagram. And the other day Offset was in his car wearing an ugly Christmas sweater, basically rapping a Cardi B song, looking like he was legit missing his wife, okay? Y'all go ahead and check out this video. Honey, all right, so y'all just seen Offset trying to rap the Cardi B song. So now, if that's not crazy enough, last night Offset took to Instagram and he basically put his heart out there and he told the world that he just wants, the only thing he wants for his birthday is that he wants his wife back. He wants to be with his daughter for her first Christmas. He really put his heart out there. He put up this really sympathetic video wanting Cardi to come back into his life. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Um. I only got one birthday wish, and that's to get my, my, my wife back, Cardi, you know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things on the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi. You know, I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy. Doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your heart, breaking our promise, breaking God's promise, and, and being a, a, a selfish messed up husband, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to be a better person. I wanna get this off my shoulders, I wanna get this off my back. I apologize to you, Cardi. I love you and culture. I wanna spend Christmas with you. I wanna be able to spend the rest of life my life with you. I apologize, I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I didn't fuck that girl but I was entertaining, you know what I'm saying? I apologize. And I love you. I hope you can forgive me. My birthday wish is just to All right, so you guys just heard Offset's apology to Cardi B. So when I tell you this went viral all over social media last night, a lot of folks were talking about this, but I think the craziest part, okay, when I tell you there was a damn cheater convention going on in his comment section, all these damn celebrity male cheaters, they got together like damn Voltron, honey, and they were basically, you know, trying to have Offset's back. T.I.'s ass had the nerve to tell Cardi B to take him back. You know what I'm saying? DJ Envy has something to say. Kirk, who done had a baby on Rashida's ass, had the nerve to have prayer hands up there. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go look at these tweets and these comments from these celebrities. Even Young Thug, yes, Young Thug had the nerve to leave a comment when two weeks ago his damn fiance done told the world that you done had a baby on her. It's like these dudes got some nerve, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Really, T.I.? Really, DJ Envy? Really, Stevie J? I mean, this is just insane. I was patiently waiting for Jay-Z, Peter Guns, Kevin Hart, and Tristan Thompson to come out and, you know, show Offset some love. I'm sure they were in the cut watching all this shit play out, trying to debate, should they publicly support him or should they just sit back and eat their fucking food, okay? And I think those four just chose to sit back and eat their damn food. As we all know, like I always say, 
most guys are just not faithful. You know what I'm saying? There's some faithful guys out there. Shout out to the five of y'all who exist. We love y'all, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, most guys, especially if they got money and fame, they're just not gonna be faithful. It, it, that's just part of the game. That's just part of the territory. Does it make it right? Hell no, doesn't make it right. But that's just what it is. That's why all these cheaters are sitting here almost trying to shame Cardi and tell her, you know what I'm saying? You just need to take him back. You just need to be with him, be a family again, because that's what their wives and their girlfriends have done. How many times has Tyra and Amina fought over Peter Guns? How many times has Tiny's goofy ass taken back T.I. after he's disrespected and humiliated her over and over again? He's always complaining about folks being in his business, but he sure didn't waste no time, you know what I'm saying, putting his nose in Offset and Cardi B's business, now did he, okay? So now, if that's not crazy enough, the rapper, The Game, also decided to chime in and give his opinion on the whole Cardi B and Offset situation, and basically, he's also telling Cardi B to get back with Offset. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this video of the game. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, this message for Cardi B and my nigga Offset Defense. Um, I really feel like y'all need to get back together. I feel like y'all family unit. A, y'all got a beautiful, beautiful brand new baby. B, it's the holidays. And, and C, y'all family unit, man. It's just, it, it, it go together, man. Y'all can't, y'all can't break up, man. So, Cardi B, just forget I mean, you know, we're all guilty of entertaining women, uh, texting women, but he didn't, you know, he didn't do it. He didn't go, he didn't go through with it. It's the holiday season, and uh, Cardi B and Offset, or Cardi B without Offset, is kind of like Jay-Z without Beyonce. It doesn't make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, y'all unit. I feel like y'all soulmates. Y'all probably felt like y'all were soulmates. Y'all gotta get it back together, man, especially for the holidays. Stay lit. I got love for y'all and y'all family unit. I want to see Cardi B and Offset back on my Instagram immediately. All right, so you guys just saw that video of the game and what he had to say. So after he said that, folks started dragging him all over the shade room. Folks were telling the game to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Let's not forget this is the same man who cheated on his fiance Tiffany, when he had that reality TV show, and he never walked down the aisle with her. But yet and still, he has all this advice for Cardi B. So once people started dragging him, he decided to step back into the shade room, and this is what the game had to say. He says, I read some of these comments and it's really sad how more than half of them are women saying she should move on. How do you think marriages lasted so long back in the day? It wasn't because somebody moved on after every little incident or situation. It's because the word marriage itself is built on a rock, something that is supposed to be solid and last a lifetime. This new way of thinning, but I think he meant thinking. This new way of thinking is why most black children grow up in broken homes. Some things are worth saving, especially marriages. Happy holidays to you all says the man once again who did not walk down the aisle with his fiance and who also cheated on her again right message wrong damn messenger so now if that was not crazy enough after this whole situation with the game went viral as we all know cardi b was performing at rolling loud yesterday with a bunch of entertainers and lo and behold who steps on her stage begging cardi b to take him back y'all go ahead and check out this video right here
All right, so you guys just saw that video of Cardi B and Offset. And like I said on Instagram this morning, I said I've never seen so many black male entertainers basically go to bat for this couple. Like, they're going so hard for Cardi B and Offset. You know, when Sierra got cheated on, nobody gave a fuck. As many times as T.I. has stepped out on Tiny, no, nobody has called out T.I. When Snoop Dogg was cheating on his wife with Selena Powell, the hip-hop streets were quiet. But it's funny that when it comes to Cardi B and Offset, all of these black men have so much to say. I personally have never seen a black male celebrity go as hard for his wife or girlfriend than I've seen Offset go for Cardi B. You know, so this entire situation is insane. And of course, Cardi B had something to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you guys here. Check this out. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that been supporting me. They've been loving me. Um, and they feel like they need to defend me right, wrong, or indifferent. I don't want people like to just keep doing fuck shit, saying fuck shit. Violating my baby father is not gonna make me feel any better because at the end of the day, <coughs> that's still family. Unfortunately, we going through things and um, you know, it's not private. It be became public and I'm just, I just want things to die down. I just want, I just need time so we can see eye to eye. I can't predict the future. I don't know, but the whole coming out my baby father bullshit, that doesn't make me feel any better. And I just want to say thank you, everybody. Just respect my wishes. I love you so much. Bum oh, ass bitches and you whack ass niggas talk shit about <coughs> my nigga. Because at the end of the day, you bitches will, you will be the bitches that will fuck that nigga. All them bitches in the comments that's popping shit be the bitches that will fuck that nigga. You niggas that's talking shit is the niggas that will fucking, fucking body slam and push bitches over just to chill with the nigga in, in his section. So I don't want to hear it. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to let y'all fucking bitches talk about my... So I know I see a lot of people bashing me because they feeling because I'm defending my baby father. They thinking that I'm going to get getting back together with him i'm not saying that i'm gonna get back together with him i just don't like that bashing online thing just earlier you just saw how pete davidson was talking about how he don't even want to be on this earth because mad people be coming at him every single day i wouldn't want my baby father to have that feeling because of millions of people be bashing him every day that's a nasty feeling and i wouldn't want that i God could give me and bring me the most perfect, glamorous, fabulous man. That perfect, glamorous, fabulous, perfect man is not going to love my child the same way her father loves my child. So I don't like that bullshit because I know how painful it is when you have millions of people bashing you every single day. I don't like that. And it doesn't make me feel any better. Period. All right, you guys just saw what Cardi B had to say. And then just a little bit ago, Offset also posted this message. He says, all of my wrongs have been made public. I figured it's only right that my apologies are made public too. A nigga was just trying. Thank God I got no balloons. Sheesh. So that's what Offset had to say about the situation. So my thing is this. I mean, instead of these guys trying to basically talk Cardi B into taking him back, how about these men have some real conversations about young men being faithful? I think that's what I wanted to see in the comments section. Real men telling these young boys, it's okay to be a husband. It's okay to be faithful. It's okay to be with one woman. And if you don't want to be with one woman, then you need to be honest and break it up or just be single. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense to get into a committed relationship and you're out here cheating and, you know, getting other people pregnant and everything else. Because again, when you're out here creeping and doing all this other shit, this is how you knock folks up. This is how STDs spread. So, you know, it's not okay that these guys are out here wiling and just having sex with any and everybody. At the end of the day, he really did hurt Cardi B. He seriously humiliated her. You know, you got to figure this. He's been caught cheating several times. She's taken him back. She's trying to work things out. But for him to be that bold to be caught with this girl once again is just ridiculous, you know? And he's claiming that he didn't sleep with her. He didn't do anything with her. 
But the thing is the fact that you're FaceTiming other women and you know what they're about. You know these girls are pass arounds. You know these girls like to have threesomes and hop from rapper dick to rapper dick to damn rapper dick, okay? So you knew these type of females, but yet and still you had no problem being on face cam with them. You know what I'm saying? Letting them record conversations. So I think that's the part that hurts Cardi B the most is the fact that he wasn't even discreet about it. It's almost like you just didn't give a fuck, you know? So this entire situation is crazy, but at the end of the day, this is Cardi B's decision if she wants to go back to her husband and work everything out or she wants to continue to pursue her divorce, okay? So it's on Cardi B. It doesn't matter what mushmouth ass T.I. has to say. It doesn't matter how many prayer hands Kirk Frost puts in Offset's comment section. At the end of the day, the decision is on Cardi B. And I'm sure it's very hard for her because, again, this is her husband. It's not just her baby daddy. It's not just, you know, her boyfriend. This is someone that she's legally and spiritually married to. And they have recently had a daughter together. So... And they recently had a daughter together and I know she's always wanted a family. So for this family to be broken up so fast, there's a lot for her to think about with this entire situation. But at the end of the day, that's her decision to make, not anybody else's. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Offset, AKA off cheat, apologizing to Cardi B, and then all these damn celebrity cheaters basically congregating like Voltron in his comment section trying to give him and Cardi B damn advice, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss